Money Talks with President Big Bucks. 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 Yeah. Money Talks with President Big Bucks. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Money Talks with President Big Bucks. Grab your cup of hot chocolate and join me for our topic today, investment. I know what you're thinking. I don't have any money to invest. I'm broke. I can't even afford two ply toilet paper. I'm using half a ply right now. Rich people invest, not people like me. Well, I want you to look around your room. What's in there? You may have an Xbox, flat screen TV, expensive gym shoes, laptop, or you might be watching me on your $800 iPhone. I want you to take a moment and add up everything you have accumulated in the past two years from birthdays, Christmas, good report card gifts, just because, etc. If it comes to over $1,000, you have money to invest. This is how some poor people turned into rich people. The key word here is some. Now, for the past five episodes, I have been saying, stop throwing your money away on things that bring you no value, like Jordans and bling. Well, if you are willing to make some upfront sacrifices, you can become wealthy. Although, I really don't think going without Jordans, Gucci, Burberry, and other expensive items is considered sacrifices, only here in America it is. But also here in America, a poor black teenager living in Compton became the richest rapper in the world. He became a billionaire from selling what he loved the most. What was it? Beats by Dr. Dre. Apple possibly poised to make the biggest deal in its history and in the process create what could be hip hop's first billionaire. This is all about Dr. Dre's popular company Beats, which does headphones and much more. And ABC's Sarah Haynes is on the story for us this morning. You're not wearing the headphones. I kind of expected that. Wait for okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> Billions are on the line in this deal, and these Beats headphones, which we constantly see on celebrities, are the buzzed about cool factor in the deal, but it isn't about actually how we're listening to the music, but how we're getting our music that's at the center of this mega merger. An unprecedented title after a mega deal. The first billionaire in hip hop. <laughs> Guess who's back? Hip hop mogul and headphone tycoon Dr. Dre, boasting in a video on Facebook with friend Tyrese Gibson and seeming to confirm the reported deal the Beats Electronics co founder made with Apple. The selling price? Rumored to be a whopping $3.2 billion. They need to update the Forbes list. Apple is absolutely buying into the brand, the cool, the cachet of Beats. You can't just write this off to services and technology and users and all the other metrics of an acquisition. They're buying some cool here. This is the largest purchase for Apple ever. Experts say the company is looking to take a bite out of more than the sales of the high-end headphones, worn by stars like Robin Thicke, Will I Am, and LeBron James, but Beats Music, they're all you can... In May 2014, Apple purchased the Beats brand for $3 billion. It was Apple's most expensive purchase by far. This deal made Dr. Dre the richest man in hip-hop, surpassing Diddy. Dr. Dre took his passion for music and created a product that became valuable to a technology mogul, Apple. Now, look around you. How many people do you know that have an Apple product? Well, let me tell you, there are over 1.3 billion active Apple devices used around the world. Yes, billion, I said. I am banging my head against the wall right now. Why? Because I remember back in 2002, Apple stock was $14.33 a share. People were selling their stock like it was burning a hole in their hand. They did not want to hold on to it. Now, today, in 2018, that same stock is $168.49 a share. I know people who sold their stock back in 2002 and are regretting it big time. They can't even walk by an Apple store without getting angry. In 2002, if you bought 70 shares at $1,000, today it would be worth $11,794. Now, if you purchased 350 shares for $5,000 in 2002, today it would be worth $58,971. I don't know about you, but that sounds like the honest definition of easy money. You did not have to lift a finger and you turned $5,000 into $59,000. Just sit back and watch your money grow. However, it does take patience, and it is risky, 
but it is far more financially savvy than buying lottery tickets every day, sitting in front of the television hoping you hit the jackpot each night. Well, at least if you lose on your stock investment, you can write it off on your taxes. You can't write off a losing lottery tickets. Thousands of people every day run to the store to purchase a lottery ticket and sit back and tell everyone, if I hit tonight, I'm buying us that million dollar home. We're going to be out of the poor house for good. But the sad part is, when people do hit the lottery, they end up right back in the poorhouse again because they don't know how to make money work for them. In other words, many winners take their $5 million in winnings and blow it all on stupid stuff instead of investing that $5 million and turning it into $20 million. Here's my advice. 1. Ask for stock for your birthday, Christmas, graduation, or any other special occasion. Become a shareholder. 2. Don't ever waste your money on lottery tickets and gambling. 3. Before investing any money in stock, be sure to research the company thoroughly first to make sure they have strong financials and are projected to do well in the future. 4. Stop shopping and start investing. Here are some life rules to financial empowerment. Don't say no one ever told you. Learn from the best when it comes to investing money, Warren Buffett. Purchase the book The Warren Buffett Way by Robert Hagstrom. Here are tips from Mr. Buffett. 1. Be fearful when others are greedy, and greedy when others are fearful. To make your investment grow, you need to buy stocks when they are priced low because everyone else is panic selling, and sell when everyone wants to buy and the price skyrockets. Buy low, sell high. Just keep doing this over and over. That's how wealthy Wall Street types earn their millions and even billions. 2. Dividends are your friend. Dividends are a great perk to buying a company as it usually shows that the company's finances are in good enough shape to support paying out its hard-earned money. Buying a stock that pays out dividends means each year you will be paid an income just for holding the stock. 3. Buy and hold. Be patient. Basically, don't day trade, invest. 4. Cash is king. Cash is a big deal. Keep lots of it on hand at any given time. This is because of a note Warren's grandfather left him in 1939 stating to always keep cash because many people he knew suffered because they did not have the cash. Warren Buffett said, the more you learn, the more you earn. Ask yourself, is what you're learning earning you money? I want you to thrive in the real world. You know what's even better than big bucks? Big change. Dream big, think big, do it big. Brought to you by The Big Institute www.thebiginstitute.org Subscribe to our YouTube channel today!